Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my back to school clothing haul. Well actually, it's not really back to school clothing because I didn't specifically buy this for school. I can actually wear this anywhere that I want to. I really just bought it because fall was coming and because I wanted to. Um, I'm basically just preparing for colder weather and I'm trying to look cute for school. But yeah, so let's get started. I also wanted to mention that I start school at the end of August, so I basically have the rest of this month to go and then I'm going to be straight back into hell because studying, homework, projects, presentations, just, I hate school. So if clothes is going to make me feel better, then I'm going to buy clothes. You bet I'm going to do it. I have my back to school items in this box here and then at the end of this video, I will also share with you guys a few of my workout clothing pieces, things that I purchased. So let's get started. So the first item that I got is from PacSun and it's a bodysuit. Um, this is a little risque for school, especially for schools with dress codes, but for me, my school doesn't have a dress code. I'm basically just going to wear a cardigan on top of it or like a blazer, but it's basically a black bodysuit. Um, it opens at the crotch, so if you're going to the bathroom, it's very easy to go. You just have to like unbuckle this and you're good to go, but it has all of these crisscross thingies on the side, so you're basically going to be showing some side boob. Um, you're going to be showing your entire side because it's all opened with crisscrosses and it says LA in the front. I thought this was really cute, especially for the rest of the summer. I can wear this with high-waisted shorts. From Victoria's Secret, I got two of these um, bralette things. This is actually from the pink line, but I got this at a Victoria's Secret store. So this is what it looks like. I got two of them. They were on sale for $20 each, so I decided to get two and they're really cute. I can wear this to the gym or I can wear this under like sweaters, hoodies, or whatever I wanted to. Um, these are originally $34.95, but I got them for $20 each, so I thought that was a pretty good price. I got a hot pink one, and also this really pretty like blue color. And the back is really cool because it also opens, so it kind of crisscrosses in the back like a racer top. And then it has this little cutout, and it also collapses in the back like a bra would, so this is really nice. I tried it on, and it gives your boobs really good lifts, so I decided to get two of those. For American Eagle, I got one of these burgundy tank tops. This is a halter top, so it goes pretty high up on your neck. Doesn't show any cleavage at all, but this is made of super soft material. It's kind of like suede, but it's not made of real suede. Anyways, on the side, it's a little bit uh, scandalous, I guess you can say, especially for school because it's a lace-up side, so you can pretty much just show your entire midriff. But um, I lace it up pretty tightly together, so it barely opens anything at all. But again, if your school doesn't allow that, I would just say like wear a sweater, a cardigan, blazer, jacket, wear anything over it, and you still look really cute. Um, and after school, you could just you know take it off and go partying with that. Got another one of those really soft V-necks from Pack Sun, and this is by the brand Me to We. This is so super soft. I don't know what it's made of, but it's so velvety. It's almost like suede, but it's not. It's not even fake suede. It's just a really soft kind of like, I don't know what material it is, but I like keep rubbing myself. I keep like touching my boobs when I'm wearing this because it's so freaking soft. I think this is a really cute shirt for school. It's nice and flowy. So especially around the holidays when you're eating a little bit too much, that food baby is showing. That shirt is definitely flowy enough to cover that food baby. Got a few things from Hollister. The first one is this shirt right here. It's a little kind of like a baby doll shirt. It's very tiny. It's supposed to be cropped, I think. So I bought this one size um, bigger than I normally would because I don't want anything too extremely tight. And it's also not comfortable, especially when you're in school for like eight hours and you're sitting in such a tight shirt. It's just not comfortable at all. So I got this one size um, larger than I normally would, but it just says California on it. it says Los Angeles. It's just really cute because on the bottom it kind of ruffles a little bit So it's it's a shirt, but it's a little bit cuter than your average shirt I got one of these little hoodie things. It's not really a hoodie because it doesn't have a hood on it, but it has this really long like It's not a cow neck, but it just has a really long like neck little thing But it looks really cute when you wear it because it's all slouchy and you can fold it if you wanted to To make it look like a turtleneck, but then it's also not as tight and like constricting as a turtleneck, does that make sense? But it's really cute, especially because it's nice and flowy, but it's also really tight at the sleeves. So it just has a really boxy cut to it. Again, this is something that I would wear my Zara leggings with or like skinny jeans. That would be so cute for this and it's so comfortable, so super soft. It reminds me of the Brandy Melville hoodies, except this quality is a lot better because for Brandy Melville, if you wash them like over like three times, it starts to have this little like dust ball thingies on it just not a very cute look. So that is a lot cuter and it's also cheaper than the Brandy Melvin hoodies. So decided to get that. The last thing that I got from Hollister is this little tank top. This was on sale for $11.99, but I also got it for 50% off. So I ended up paying about like $6 for this. So 
good. But it looks like this. It's super summery because it's a tank top. It's short, it's flowy, and then it has like really summery colors. So it just reminds me of like summer. But um, the cutest thing is this little logo right here. It says fries before guys. And to some extent, I do agree with it. Fries before guys, definitely. But then I'm thinking if it's like Chris Evans, then definitely Chris Evans before fries, before anything else because he is so hot. Anyways, moving on to jackets. I got two jackets from the company uh, Bershka. I don't think we have them in America. Don't quote me on this, but I bought this when I was in Hong Kong. And the first one just looks like a bomber, but it's like paint satin bomber. It's just really cute. This color is like pastel -y pink, but it's not too girly. It's not like Barbie hot pink where you draw too much attention to yourself. I don't know if you can order um, Bershka online that was shipped to America, but I know they have it in the UK. So if you guys are from the UK, you can definitely go and check that out. And then the other jacket that I got from Bershka looks like this. It is basically like a super long cardigan, but it's not made of sweater material. It's made of like a lighter material. So I would say that if your weather is like about 50 to 60 degrees, this would keep you warm enough. And it's just a really long olive green, like army green kind of um, jacket. Moving on to some gym clothes that I got recently. I got two of these free people like workout active wear shorts. I don't even know what they're called. Don't know what the other one is. Oh, the other one is this. They're basically the same pair of shorts but in different colors. So I have a black one and it has these like reflective little pieces here. They're probably gonna look silver in the camera because it's reflecting my light. But yeah, there's that and there's a little pocket in the butt so you can store your key or your phone no your phone wouldn't fit in there but this is the other pair it's just a really nice pale pink color with again these reflect this um stripes these would be probably really good if you're running at night or walking around at night so you don't get hit by a car especially if you're wearing like dark colored clothing and then from nikes i got some compression shorts these are the three inch inseam ones they also have the five inch ones but those are a little bit too long so i got the three inch ones but the solid colors are $28 each and I got these for $21 because they were on sale. And then these patterned ones are originally $32 each but I got them for $24 because again they were on sale. Um, yeah, they're really comfortable, they're very nice, they're compressing like they you know squeeze you together but they're not too tight where you can't breathe so I really like those. And I got these mainly because the free people shorts that I just showed you, they are really short and I go rock climbing so Usually when I'm up on a wall, my legs are like wide open trying to like step on two footholds. So my crotch is basically wide open for people down below to see. So I just don't want my asshole or my ass crack to be like showing for the world. So I decided to get compression shorts. And then the last thing that I got is from Target. This is a champion crop top. Well, it's not a crop top, it's like a sports bra, but I intended it to be a crop top. They have these like gray marble kind of pattern in the front and it has mesh material down the side. And then in the back it has more mesh so you can breathe and sweat through the back. And then it has these two like elastic band thingies to look cuter. I really like this and it was on sale for $13.98 so that was a pretty good deal. But I don't know if I want to keep this because I wanted it to be a little bit longer. Oh and I almost forgot I got two hats from Hot Topic. And one of them is a Disney hat. It has Mickey Mouse on it and it has like floral patterns on the bill. But I don't know if I should keep these or not because I'm not really a hat person. Yeah, that was it in my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.